Yeah, right. It's a strange concept to abandon your car in Southern California, but organizers say they want people to step out and enjoy their neighborhood. It's a different experience walking or biking instead of driving. And today we saw many families taking advantage of car free streets. Two miles of Adams Avenue plus several side streets were car free Sunday, turning the pavement over to any vehicle you can propel. It's pretty fun and yeah, mostly it's that, you know, it's fun to have the, the freedom and taboo of being able to ride in the streets uh, that you don't normally get to do. David Water brought his family out, allowing his daughters to do something they're never allowed to do. This seemed like a good uh, organized way to get them out there, let them ride in the street, which they always want to do anyways. Um, so it was something extra fun for them just to be able to um, basically do what they're not supposed to. Ciclos Diaz is an annual event that happens in different neighborhoods of the city each year. This year, it's Normal Heights, Kensington, and North Park. A five-hour period meant to inspire participants to consider going car-free more than once a year. This is just for the neighborhood to come out, have a great time. It's to promote safe communities, livable communities, where people can walk and ride and scoot and skate and get around in the safest way. The city of San Diego's climate action plan calls for more people to use bikes, scooters, and basically any form of transportation except a car. But currently, the number of lanes are far from what advocates want to see. We have a lot of work to do in San Diego, but this is the reason why we do these events. We do it to promote this kind of lifestyle, the kind of lifestyle that people actually really want. Ciclos Diaz is sponsored by several local businesses and neighborhood associations. Those along the route often get in on the fun. Ultimately, the goal is to build a community. The only way you know who your neighbors are is if you get outside. So that's what we're trying to promote. This is a great neighborhood anyways for just like riding places because it's flat and there's a lot of good stuff within, you know, within walking, biking, scootering distance. Ciclos Diaz will expand to other communities next year, going from an annual event to multiple across the county. The next one is planned for January in Encinitas, and certainly the plan is to expand it out so that more people can take advantage of this and see the community in a different light. You know, another benefit is when you're driving through these neighborhoods that you drive through on a regular basis, you're not really paying attention to all of the different little shops on that yeah. street. So when you get out and you walk, you say, I had no idea there was an ice cream store there. Oh, that look, there's an old bookstore there. There's, I mean, it's so cool to actually take the time to see what's in your neighborhood. And your neighbors, too. I mean, I always love meeting my neighbors. Yes. You get to walk around a community and experience some of this and then, like, <laughs> see kind of what people are doing with their house and maybe we'll get ideas for your own. Although, you know, as Southern Californians, we love our cars. Sure do. Especially in that neighborhood. It's a walkable neighborhood, yes. so it I'm is. sure it was also good for business as well. It was. A lot of them participating, so it's yeah. nice to see. Thanks, Brandon.